Hey guys, so it turns out I left out a couple examples on the video, probably because they both say example three. I apologize. So I just wanted to cover these two examples. Um, one other type of factoring you have in your toolkit is called factoring by grouping. So the way I can tell, right, as, my, as a polynomial doctor, I can tell, hmm, maybe I need to do some grouping on this patient. I can tell if there are four terms, that's gonna be my suspicion that maybe grouping is going to be what I need to do. So into our office walks this polynomial right here and we always ask the polynomial, do you have a greatest common factor? Doesn't look like it, right? So we're gonna say, okay, well, let's try some grouping on you polynomial. So here's what I'm gonna do for grouping. I'm gonna take the first two terms now you guys have done this when you do diamond problems. All right, I'm gonna take the first two terms, put a bracket around them, take the second two terms, put a bracket around them. And I'm gonna look for the greatest common factor in the first two terms, right? And the greatest common factor in the first two terms is x squared. So this is my diagnosis phase. I'm seeing, okay, is grouping going to work on this patient here? Okay, in the second two, notice that's a minus. So I'm actually gonna factor out a negative four. And I'm gonna say, oh look, these two parentheses are the same. And if that's the case, that means grouping is going to work. So what I'm gonna do now is I have these two little right, expressions here. I'm gonna factor out the x plus five, and then what's gonna be left is this x squared minus four. Now the polynomial says, doc, I feel so much better, thank you, but I'm really still not feeling 100%. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna say, okay, x plus five, there's nothing I can factor there, but look at x squared minus four. There's a minus sign and those are two perfect squares. So watch, let's see, can we do a diagnosis here? If, can I write this as something squared minus something squared? And the answer is yes. I can put an X in there and I can put a two in there. So what I end up with is X plus five and then this X squared minus four factors to X plus two, X minus two. Now the polynomial walks away happy. Okay, so next polynomial comes into our office. We always ask our polynomial, do you have a GCF? And it looks like here with duh, we do have a G GCF, it's a two. Right? So the polynomial says, thanks doc, but I'm still not feeling completely well. So I'm gonna say, well, there's four terms here. So let's try and see if grouping might work to cure you. So I'm gonna make the brackets around the first two. And I'm gonna see, can I factor out a greatest common factor? Yes, I can factor out an X. And then over here, I can factor out a two. Oh, we did it. Sorry, this should be an X squared. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do the same thing we did here. We're gonna factor out the X minus three and don't forget that two out front. And we will be left with x squared plus two. Now, thorough doctors always check to make sure they've cured their patients. So let's look and see, is there any more factoring that can be done, right? And this, right, you might think, oh, maybe x squared plus two, but those aren't cubes, right? So we don't really have anything else to factor. So our polynomial is completely cured. Thank you guys. I apologize for the extra video.